tables turn, the tables turn. What goes around comes back around. Welcome back to August with the Shade. Now, let's go ahead and get into another video, all right? Now, this video is going to be about a little small expose uh, on the hit song by Cardi B and Brooklyn Johnny and Partisan Fontaine and everybody else that written this song is going to be about that, okay? It's going to be about how this song was served to the public to be the song that was going to take Nicki Minaj out, you know what I'm saying? And I hate to even say it like that, but that is just exactly what this song was supposed to do, okay? Cardi B is known as one of the most popular rappers in the world, you know what I'm saying? She um, is getting dogged out for the accusations of her not writing her own music. Even in the beginning stages of her career, Cardi B still didn't write her own music, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people always asked her, you know, where she was she her music and she would always answer and say yes she was writing her own music but later we found out that partisan fontaine and also brooklyn johnny were a part of her success now you ask me who brooklyn johnny is let me go ahead and give you a little small rundown on exactly who he is because he is one of the puppets behind the whole payola train but we will get into that in another video okay brooklyn johnny is an executive producer entrepreneur and ceo of district 18 entertainment he has been cardi b's closest collaborator for years and he's explained that he although the song explicit language and off may offend some um he doesn't really care because you know him and partisan likes to get in the studio allegedly and write these songs for women you know what i'm saying they were a part of bodak yellow they were also a part of wop we all know that wop is a very 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 vulgar female song so it's so weird to know that two men were behind writing about you know sucking and, and, and effing you know what i'm saying like just imagine that is just so weird a man talking about that oh my god I really want to know the sexuality because at this point, that's just a little weird. You know, even the, you know, the things that Cardi B said on her first album on some of the songs that Partisan wrote for her, I just want to understand how is his creative mind getting into wanting to do fellatio with the man. You know, even if you are Cardi B, you could talk about more of the gutter side, you know, her being from the Bronx, this and that, you know, you could, you could go into that, but you go into a very, very vulgar part of Cardi B and you start talking about things, sexual acts that she does with her husband. And to me, that's just weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just weird. I don't know how Offset feels about it. I don't know how anybody that is around these people, even Megan, Megan, I know that Partisan allegedly is writing some of your music. I really want to know why is it that Partisan feels so comfortable writing about females, you know, giving fellatio and doing things that I just never heard a man say. Like, if a man wrote a rhyme for a female, let's just go back in time, okay? When Foxy Brown brother allegedly was writing her music, I never heard Foxy be as vulgar. When certain people were writing the songs for Little Kim, yes, Little Kim was very vulgar, but the songs, the men, the, the, the ones that the men penned, let me tell you something, they were more like, you know, Quiet Storm type of, you know, type of thing. So I don't know. In my opinion, I just feel like men should not be writing about stuff like that. I think that that is a very, very sacred part of a woman. And I feel like they should be able to express how they want to be, you know, treated in the bedroom and stuff like that. So it's so weird. I, I'm just saying. Bodak Yellow was a song that wanted that they wanted to take Nicki Minaj down. Even if they seen Nicki Minaj in the club dancing to it, any of that. The agenda was to take Nicki out. They wanted to see if this song could be pushed by the public. They wanted the general public to get behind this song so that they could stamp it. And once the general public got behind it, a.k.a. Uh, Charlemagne. They did this whole campaign and they took her to the top. And that's exactly what they did. With And while they took her to the top, that's when the Grammy nominations came in. That's when all of the things started swooping in. And that's why you see Cardi B as big, well, being as big as she was then. Because now to me, I don't feel like she fits in the new era. But we will see when she drop her album. But you know what I'm saying? She hasn't dropped an album in almost five years. And to me, that's just weird. Because you are a brand new artist. You are not... You know, you're not seasoned out here. You know, you're talking about, oh, I'm getting these checks and I only did one album. Girl, you want to be a rapper, but look at what you're doing. Like, this is what you want. This is what you want out of your life. Like, you want to look back and be like, oh, yeah, I dropped one album. And you could have been dropping more. Do you have a passion for music? Do you love music? Because Partisan looks like he has a, a passion for talking about giving fellatio to men. You know what I'm saying? Brooklyn Johnny's okay with bringing down other female rappers to bring up a female rapper that is a gangbanger, allegedly. Okay, let's just talk about it. Okay, let's just talk about it because listen, I'm going to drop video after video after video after video exposing this clown because I just don't get with it. I just don't think that y'all understand the magnitude that these two men behind Cardi B is how they, Cardi B probably isn't even the devil. It's them. But she allows them to, to, to use her as a puppet with these words that they're putting. That's why Nicki said, I'm going to have my husband come see them Ghost Riders. Because it ain't the females dissing Nicki Minaj. It's the Ghost Riders behind it. Okay? Partisan is already mad because Nicki Minaj took hard white beat from him. Let's talk about it. Come on now. Y'all know I got the tea. Y'all know I got the tea and I'm going to keep on spilling it. I'm going to keep on spilling it. Listen, Bodak Yellow, I don't care if it got how many plaques. I don't care. Cardi B did not write not even a word on that song. So Cardi B does not own anything from Bodak Yellow. I want you guys to see 10 years down the line when you see this song being played on any 
anything when you see her performing it. When you when you once see the video on YouTube or whatever platform is going to be streaming at that time, it's not going to have Cardi B's name on it. It's going to have Atlantic Records, just like they did Little Kim. Listen, y'all better ask somebody. Y'all wonder why the girl ain't got thirty million dollars and she been in the game for almost five years. You better ask a record label. Don't ask me. They gave it to the men. But anyway, I want to know y'all opinion down below. Go ahead and let me know why do you think Bodak Yellow was a hit? Why do you think that these men just continuously, you know, want to write songs dissing Nicki Minaj? We're like, what's really the problem? We want to know. Let me know down in the comments. Give me a big, 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 big thumbs up. Make sure y'all leave your notification bells on so you don't miss every single time that I go live. Make sure y'all go over there and follow Rella with the Shady T. And remember, this video is sponsored by Spiritual Shit. Go and get you some. Love y'all. Bye. Hi there. I'm Cass, founder of Spiritual Shit LLC and inventor of the patent pending lip wand. As a herbal smoking enthusiast and spiritual mentor, I embrace the idea of the intentional high. With the rise in access to the high quality cannabis in the US and Canada, many of us are taking a more conscious approach to consuming our herbs. You may be used to consuming cannabis to disconnect, but what if we use it to connect back to what makes us feel harmonious? This is where Lit Wands will benefit you. Lit Wands are designed with your intentional high in mind. I love gemstones and crystals. They are a great way to channel energies to and from the universe. That's why I include the option of adding gemstones to your wands. Handmade to order, each wand is crafted with materials purchased from small businesses right here in the US. In addition to supporting your herbal elevation journey, the Lit Wand protects your nails, prevents your fingers from inheriting smells, reduces the stress in your hands, it keeps others from touching your roll, and it looks beautiful. Order one for yourself or as a gift for your favorite herbal smoker. Both custom and pre-made options are available. And if you are attending a festival, get together, or bridal party, contact me for a group order. Ordering your wand is easy. Go to spiritualshit.com, click your favorite wand, and hit checkout. Shady gang, don't forget to use your coupon code Shady Friday for 20% off. It is the only place on the internet that you will find this coupon code with 20% off. Love you guys. Bye.